Uh, you may have already heard of me, probably not. I'm moderately not famous. Um. <laughs> Welcome to Booze and Tattoos by me, Autumn Hudson. And I am about to review the new Peak Needles tattoo machine and battery pack. The packaging is beautiful. If you've ever seen like a, a barracuda in a bathtub. So the battery pack is sold separately, I believe. It's all digital display, which is really nice. Unfortunately, I don't know if I had uh, not enough of a charge on my battery before I started or not, because it only lasted about four and a half hours. Uh, however, I want to try it again and make sure that it has a full charge before I use it. See if it'll stand up to the FK irons uh, with the eight hour battery life. Another thing I really do like is, once I turn it on, you actually have a digital readout of exactly the voltage you're using, whereas a lot of machines will just have colors and you'll kind of have to feel it out and hope that it's at the voltage that you want. And then it's easily adjustable, uh, everything's super easy to maneuver and understand on that. The machine itself is fantastic. It actually has, if you look here, an adjustable stroke, which you can adjust with the battery pack on. So most machines I've used before, if there is an adjustable stroke, it's with inside the machine, so you have to adjust your stroke before you wrap your machine. But this is really convenient because you can just do it while you're tattooing. <laughs> and just like all the other machines, you basically just turn the bottom and it adjusts your needle depth. And it's not like the FK where the adjustable needle depth is uh, can only go so far before the whole piece starts unscrewing. This can you can continue to back it all the way up inside the needle or push it out as far as you want. So you really have a little bit more range of motion. It has an RCA cord as well, so you can run it off of your traditional power supply if you need to. But I prefer battery packs so I don't get tangled up inside the ropes of tattoo machines. <laughs> One of my cons, I would say. Um, is that the battery pack makes it extremely tall. It's much taller than most other machines and battery packs, which distributes the weight a little differently. As you're tattooing, you're gonna notice this a lot more top heavy than you're used to. I think it's something you could get used to over time. It is really cool getting that stroke adjustment in a machine. I mean, it feels like without the battery pack, it feels really nice. Like if you were to use it just with the uh, cord, it feels really good, but I don't want to use cords anymore. I've been trying those new Peak Triton needles, and they are fantastic for color packing, fantastic for lining, but once I actually use them in this machine, they are so much more compatible with it. It just makes sense, because the stability in the Triton needles is uh, wonderful, again, for color packing, lining, things like that, but when it comes to my soft gray watches, whip shading, things like that, I still a thousand percent prefer the quartz needles. Honestly, having a little bit more looseness to work with in there gives me personally the capability to make a softer transition when working with gray washes and fades. But since my style is now changing, I might start using a lot more of the tritons, especially with this machine because you can tell they're made by the same company and they're made with each other in mind. I will accept clapping at any time, guys. <laughs> Cheers!